and you're getting sleepy. Yeah, that sounds like the classic hypnotism setup, but it turns out there's a lot more to it than just being put into a trance-like state. Yeah, Jackie Danker is lifting the curtain on some surprising and beneficial aspects of hypnotism. And that's our featured story at the top of the list. Many of us may think that hypnosis is a form of mind control where you are put into a trance. So some evildoer could tell you to do things against your will. Right. That's not true. So to uncover the truth, we turned to pediatric pulmonologist and expert in clinical hypnosis, Dr. Ron Anbar. First of all, what exactly is hypnosis? So it's a state of mind where you take yourself from the here and now to imagining, for example, a comfortable, safe place. In that space, you're more open to suggestions. You can give yourself or you can be given by a therapist. You, do you put yourself in a dreamlike state? Well, a dreamlike state is a form of hypnosis. Daydreaming is hypnosis. I do that all the time. There you go, so you're good, you're good at hypnosis. <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. And while some people do hypnosis as a form of entertainment, where it appears that people fall asleep at a snap of a finger, which, by the way, he says, All hypnosis is self-hypnosis. So nobody does hypnosis to you. So we have the power within ourselves. That's right. For Dr. Anbar. As a physician, I use hypnosis to help people overcome their illnesses. Which brings us to the benefits of clinical hypnosis. Hypnosis can be helpful for people with asthma, with chest pain, with headaches, with stomach aches, with depression, with anxiety. It's really across the board. But he says you can also use hypnosis to help us stop smoking, lose weight. Hypnosis to get better as an athlete, as a student, as a writer, as an artist. All those things involve the mind. We can better ourselves with hypnosis. That's correct. And as for how it works, it's all about the mind and our words. A simple way of doing it is imagining yourself in a calm, safe place. And imagine what you may hear, see, taste, or even smell there. And by imagining all of your senses, you get your mind completely engaged in it. I'm in a spa right now. Tell yourself how you'd like to be I when you come out of the spa. I would like to have the greatest day ever. And there you go. Suggest that to yourself and allow it to happen. I want to go to the spa every day. You should. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. And this way you'll become calmer and feel better. And this can be tailored to whatever it is you want to achieve. But to really bring it home, it's all about the words. Say a week three times. I am weak, I am weak, I am weak. Ready? Okay. <gasps> Let's do it. You say I'm strong three times. Ready? I'm strong, I am strong, I am strong. Ready? Is there a difference? And you did the same thing both yes. times? Yes, you could do this at home. Wow! And so this really does attribute itself to hypnosis because it's the words, it's how we talk to ourselves. It's, it's how we program ourselves. What we tell ourselves is what we become. Learning the ins and outs of hypnosis is at the top of the list.